Hey, this is um, your Miyahu Weeps. Um, hello, everyone who's watching this. Thank you for watching. And I just wanted to make a, a note on the video that I posted yesterday. I was um, researching this verse a little bit more um, because somebody made a comment and I wanted to check something out. I can't remember. But um, I found there's more to it. There is more to it. I'm going to read um, my new and improved uh, version of this verse. Um, I just thought this was so important. I included an annotation in yesterday's verse, um, giving my new understanding of this verse, but I thought it was so important that I needed to share it. So, this is my new understanding of this verse. I'll probably post an annotation um, saying the verse as well, but I'm going to read it right now. Um, because this is the way Yahweh of Elohim loved the cosmos that he gave his unique and legitimate son so that everyone secures and firmly fixes in him, not being separated and lost, but having life stretching beyond the horizon. Um, okay, I'm just going to go back through for, for a minute when it says, because this is the way. It could be meaning this is how much. Um, so it could be describing how much Yahweh of Elohim loves the cosmos, or it could be saying this is the um, the type of love that Yahweh has for th this is the um, the love um, that's this is the way he did it. This is the way Yahweh loved it. This is this is the way he did it. But it could be saying this is how much he did it, or it could be saying both. Um, when it says agapeo, I went into this yesterday, how it, it means to see the intrinsic worth, to see the inherent value. So it's, it's, um, it's Yahweh looking at you and seeing who you really are, who he made you to be, and who you will become. Who you will become. It will happen. Um, and that cosmos, researching the cosmos, I found that the most likely definition of the cosmos means the entirety of humanity, all of humanity, the entirety of humanity. Um, when it says he gave his unique and legitimate son, one of a kind, that would be his one of a kind son. Um, so that everyone secures and firmly fixes in him, that's in the present tense, so it's happening. Um, when at the time that he says it, he says it in the present tense. So that it's, yeah, it's happening. Um, so he gave his son so that everyone does this, is doing this, so that this is what is happening and will happen, I believe. Um, that's, that's my understanding. And that, um, so the three, the three things are connected together. The three um, events happening at the same time. Everyone being secure, secure, um, being secure and firmly fixed in Yoshua. Um, everyone not being separated and lost. And everyone having life stretching beyond the horizon. I'm going to additionally read verse 17 just to go along with it. Because Yahweh of Elohim didn't send his son into the cosmos, into the entirety of humanity, into humanity, to judge the cosmos. So he didn't send his son into humanity to judge the entirety of humanity. Um, and that judge would be uh, meaning to be guilty and, and be liable to punishment but to rescue and save the cosmos, the entirety of humanity through him. So he sent him into humanity, not to judge all of humanity, but to rescue and save all of humanity through him, the entirety of humanity. <laughs> um, yeah, feel free to comment. I was not expecting for it to be this, but it does not surprise me that it's not actually a, um, a verse about the ultimatum gospel, but it's actually <laughs> a verse about love. It doesn't surprise me. Thank you for watching. Feel free to comment, um, share your understandings, anything, and um, I hope that you have benefited from this.
Um, I hope that you have a, a good day, a better day, and I hope that you are um, become convinced that whatever you're going through is actually for the good, for your benefit, however it may look, however it may feel. And I'm really sorry if it's not pleasant. But anyways, shalom. Have a good day, night, or meaning a bed, but can't even talk. All of it. Thanks. Shalom. Bye.